Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. In today's episode, we are going to be doing the Ebony Blade quest. Now, I've seen a lot of people do this quest over the years, um, and I thought I would put myself into the proverbial hat, so to speak. As a matter of fact, hold on, give me two seconds because I don't like the cinematic bars um, on my in my game. Here we go. Anyways. But yeah, so um, now in order to get the Ebony Blade, there's a few caveats or a few prerequisites that you need to do. One, you need to be at least level 20 in order to start this quest. Number two, you need to have at least done the Dragon Rising quest. Once you get those two out of the way, you want to go over to the Bannered Mare in Whiterun. So let's go over to there real quick. And I am slow as hell. And you want to talk to Hulda. Once you talk to Holda, now if you're if it's your first time Come coming, we got warm food, warm drinks, and warm this beds. is an ode to Skyrim's staunch. Hold on. If it's a late, sure. What can I do for you? Sure. My voice could use a rest. I don't want you talking, dude. Singing or otherwise. Now, if it's your first time in here, then don't worry. She's still gonna give you the quest. If I enjoy this work well enough. But I'm ready to retire. I've been thinking of selling the inn to Isolda. Anyway, what do you need? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by. People say there is someone in Riften that can... Ch been hearing some strange tales of the Jarl's children. Say the one's turning wicked, and the others have an ill-favored look to them. Best to keep clear. Alright, now we... Else, now that we have the quest... Not here. I told you to meet me in Riverwood. Why are you in White Run, Delphine? Now, and also stick stick to the end of the video because I will show you how to upgrade the Ebony Blade further or completely. It's very simple, very easy. You know, not a whole lot of people. You know, because one of the caveats to getting the Ebony Blade is that you have to, quote unquote, kill someone that is nice to you. Now, one of the things that you can tell is is whether or not they're nice to you is whether or not you've done a great deed for them or or you've helped them or you've given them a gift of charity or whatever. All of those count, or you can also tell by the dialogue. The dialogue will tell you a lot, like saying it's a fine day with you around or hello, friend, or anything of that sort. Now. We want to go over to the Arl Shulman. Don't mind the lag. Excellent. Well, hell well. Look who it is. How have you been? I've heard there's some trouble with your children. Yes, my youngest son. He's a dark child. I don't know what to do with him. He was always a quiet lad, but lately, something has changed. He's become brooding, violent. He won't say a word to me, but I don't know how I upset him. If you could speak to him, draw out the truth, I would be immensely grateful. All right, now that started the whispering door. Let's actually activate this. Get rid of that. Another wanderer here to lick my father's boots. Good job. Your father said to speak to you. So, the disgusting pig sent you to bother me. One day, I'll tear his face apart so he can leave me alone. <laughs> My father doesn't know anything about me, but I know about him and about the war more than he might think. 
What sort of things? I know that he still worships Talos. That he hates the Thalmor almost as much as the Stormcloaks do. That he worries about being chased from Whiterun. That he... That I'm... That I don't have the same mother as my brother and sister. How do you know all these things? This castle is old. Lots of places nobody's been in a long while. Places where you can overhear things. See things. And the Whispering Lady. Who's the Whispering Lady? She won't tell me her name. I've gotten good at listening to keyholes. At the door in the basement, I hear her talking to me. I thought I was caught, but she started telling me even more secrets. But I can't open the door. Where is the door? In the basement. Trust me, you'll see it. I bet she'll talk to you too. All right then. All right, now that we got that quest out of the way, or uh, now that we got the objective, we need to go over here. Don't worry, no one's going to catch you down here. At last. I've been waiting for someone more fit to carry out my will. The child is spirited but lacks agency. Is there someone behind the store? Regrettably, I cannot reach your plane so directly. But I forgive you for not knowing who I am. Few hear my whispers anymore. I am Mephala, the Lady of Whisper. I tug at the web of connections between mortals, love. Hatred, loyalty, betrayal. The boy was good at sussing out secrets. You, I expect to take a more active role. What do you want me to do? First, you must open this door. A piece of my power has been locked away behind it. And even my eyes cannot see past the seals. I'd much rather it be in the hands of an ambitious and talented person such as yourself. And how do I open the door? The whole of Whiterun is rife with paranoia and tensions. The Jarl's court is right to fear the power I hold behind this door. The Jarl trusts few, and they will be his undoing. The Dark Child knows of what I speak. Let him guide your path. All right, now that we have that out of the way, we can go back and talk to the youngest. Oh, that was a little bit of a lie, but that's okay. You. You know the Whispering Lady, don't you? I can tell. Do you know how to open the Whispering Door? I told you, I know everything about this castle. For some reason, that door is special. Only two people can open it. Balgroof and Farangar, the court wizard. How you get it from them is up to you. Nobody would notice if Farangar went missing, I promise you. All right then. All right, now it is best to make a save here before you go a pickpocket in people. But seeing as how my pickpocketing skill is high now a few caveats to know one if your pickpocketing is low it is best to make a save and if you fail you could always reload or you could wait till farangar is asleep that's also another way of doing it but always make a save before you go pickpocketing because you never know because you probably don't want to do this dialogue again
And here is the Ebony Blade. What? Excellent work. Now, I trust you're sharp enough to see that the sword doesn't match the description of the Ebony Blade you may know. It has languished too long outside the winds of alliance and betrayal. To return to its past glory, it must first drink the blood of deceit. Your world is admirably seeped in lies and inclinations. My blade is a darling leech that feeds on deceptions and nourishes its master. Seek out those closest to you. The final pluck of their misguided heartstrings will accompany my blade in the song of your grandeur. Now, pay attention to this last part. If you've, if you've come this far in the video one you're going to need a couple things now there's a couple of ways to do this the most easiest way is kind of a broken method but it still works there's two ways there's a couple of ways to do this one if you're doing an evil playthrough i don't think you'll have any problem killing you know the followers closest to you but if you're a good character one you could go to the um the um I think it's the Serpent Stone, I think it's called, or the, um, I can't remember what the stone, the stone by White River Watch and Val, in between Valheim Towers and White River Watch, that particular standing stone, you could use that, or you could use the Dead Thrall spell, which works just as well. So here's the Dead Thrall spells, reanimate, reanimate a dead body permanently to fight for the caster and improve with improved damage. So, so we're going to equip that. Now, I am just going to travel to the stables or over here. Now, we're going to go all the way to Riften. We're going to go to Riften, um, mainly because that is the easiest way that I have found to actually, you know, do this. All right. Now... Going over here. For a ride. Hope it lasts. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Oh my lord. Quickly, quickly, take me to Riften. Take me to Riften. Please, good sir. I don't want to stay here. Be sure to visit the Black Briar Meadery. A few mugs of that and you'll forget all about the long trip. Thank goodness. I don't want to deal with a dragon. Are you kidding me? Now, if this is your first time in Riften and you have a high enough speech skill, don't worry about it. You know, most likely you'll be able to get in. Or if you don't have a high enough speech skill, then there's that. Hold there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. Why don't you have any clothes? For the privilege of entering the city. What does it matter? All right, keep your voice down. You want everyone to hear you? I'll let you in. Just let me unlock the gate. Come on now. My carriage is the safest way to travel. In truth, I do not. I have already seen that. The gate's unlocked. 
You can head inside when you're ready. All right, now I'll show you where the best way to get the best spot. And I'm actually going to toggle God mode because I don't know if I can actually um, do this. I think. I don't know. I'm not sure. I had another run in with a thief's guild. Be hey, careful. You. Get over here. The thieves I want to talk Maven to you. So aggressive. One snap of her fingers and you could do you want to go into the beggar's row? All right. And you want to wait for a certain someone. There we go. Have a gold piece. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Until next time. All right. Now, wait till he's actually Now, here's the ebony blade. <clears throat> it's a very it's now if you notice this blade doesn't have an enchant it has an ability on it but it's a, it has an unlimited enchantment which is pretty damn cool meaning it won't go out of charge even if you even if it tried all right All right, now. Oops. Okay, so I don't have enough magicka. So, if you don't have an oak magicka, then you could just use the serpent stone. Uh, toggle god mode because I wanted to show you guys this. Oh, a little down a little bit. All right. Now, actually, favorite that. Excellent work, child. All right, and you just want to rinse and repeat. You just want to rinse and repeat this process and each every two kills you'll get a, uh, a new line of dialogue and you want to do this and you want to do this a total of 10 times. You want to do this a total of 10 times. I can feel their heartbreak swelling in my blade. Make sure nobody's watching you. The blood of deceit is a nourishing flow. This should be eight. 
Oh, that's My ten. All right. Has returned to its full glory. Now go forth, child. Continue your tiny subversions against the orders of trust and intimacy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and that is how you upgrade and get the ebony blade i hope this video helped you guys out if it did leave a like comment your thoughts down below and subscribe to the channel uh and all that fun stuff i make all sorts of content such as this and as well as doing a let's play with this very character um but uh yeah so uh, and also join the discord if you want to join the discord You'll get up to date on all my uploads if YouTube doesn't notify you already. And yeah, I'll catch you all in the next one. Have a fantastic day, guys.